Game show, music, game show, music. Hey guys, Lexi here, and of course, I'm with my main man, Hunter, and my top dog, Foxy, who just literally, as we started recording, walked away. She was hanging out, and then she peaced out. And she was like, this is not my gotta life. Gotta go, I gotta go. I did not choose this life. She took a she bone. She literally took a bone and, and, and leaving. <laughs> Alright, peace. Alright, well, anyways, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, oh my god, we're so gross. <laughs> I thought I would ask Hunter some really important questions about love, oh, me, our good. relationship. Let me get a couple more sips or ruskies of the coffee and I'll make sure I'm really sure. <laughs> let's see if you can if you can answer these, huh? Ah, Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. What is are you ready? I'm ready. Should I start off with the hardest one? <laughs> you start off with whichever one you want. Okay. Let's get it. What did I want to be when I grew up? The president. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. One point. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. There's only ten questions, so let's see right, how many you get one out of it. One for one. All right, I gotta get at least at least a C. What <laughs> is the last movie I watched? What the heck? You watch so many movies, how am I supposed to keep up with that? I don't know what the difference between a movie and a TV show. Well, one of them is just like a long movie, and a TV show can have a lot of like separate Was the Marvel lines. thing, Was that a, is that a movie or a TV show? That was a TV show. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Oh, shoot. Was Lord of the Rings, we, watched, we were watching together. Hmm. Is that it? You know what? I think that was it. <laughs> Boo! I like, literally was like, I can't think of another movie, and I should know this because I've been with you like pretty much from then to till now. I know. To be honest, I don't even know why I asked that question because I didn't remember the last movie I watched. <laughs> I remember All better right. than you did. So I'm gonna say two for two. <laughs> what is my favorite nickname to call you? Hunty. <laughs> and I hate it. But you're just like a little hunty. I'm not a hunty. He's my little hunty. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, what is my biggest pet peeve? There's a lot of them. It's hard to pick the biggest. <laughs> the one thing that annoys me the most. I mean, there's a lot of things, but I think one that like, the mm -hmm. toilet seat up is a huge one. <laughs> Clothes on the floor, water bottles, the house out of order. I mean, those are definitely all my pet peeves. My biggest pet peeve is when stuff doesn't work. Ah, uh, that's another one. But the one that like I feel the most from you, because you send it to me. <laughs> is... Well, uh, there's a reason for that. Well, it's it, it's if the toilet seat's up, and if something's out of order, like like say the rug has a bubble in it or something, she like freaks out. So like, if something doesn't work, yeah, you freak out. But if if there's like, well, if the rug has a bubble in it, it's not working. Okay, so like we, I was saying the same thing. Yeah, or are you? No. No, that's a no, correct not answer. A point. Oh my not god, I had every pet peeve you had. No way, Jose. Not a point. Oh. All right, how do you know when I'm mad at you? <laughs> I sense a ripple in the force, like a dark cloud enters the house. Like it does, I don't even have to be in the same city, state. I could be far away. Different country. Different country. Different place. And like the air sucks out of the world. It's like. <laughs> Lexi's mad. <laughs> but you, like, we could be, like, around a bunch of people, and, like, I said <laughs> one little thing that she didn't uh, agree with, and she can be, like, super, like, personable and nice and sweet to everyone, and then the second we get away, <laughs> the serious face, why did you say the thing that you said? And I was like, I didn't mean it like that, I didn't mean it like that, I was just talking, and, like, it, Well, to be like fair, the other day he goes, he was talking to someone no, on gaming. No, 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 I had already put my foot in my mouth and I was trying to get my way out of it. And then Alexis was like, you know, I can hear you. And I was like, look, I'm trying to just make him feel better. Uh-huh. We can't, we can't bring all that up. Okay. What do I hate doing the most? Oh, folding laundry. Nailed it. Or cleaning toilet, maybe. Nailed it. What do I hate doing the most? He hates the vacuum. I don't like I was like, he will scrub toilets, fold the laundry, do everything besides vacuum. I can't, vacuum cleaners haven't worked for me since I was a kid. <laughs> I, they have it out for me. There's some kind of, like my frequency and vacuum they cleaners don't work it. together. And like, I just have bad childhood memories of being stuck with vacuuming and it not picking up and getting in trouble and it sucked. <laughs> I don't know 
much. The battery dies, it won't suck something up, it's full, I can't get it emptied, I don't know. <laughs> so that's a fine trait. He'll do the toilets and the laundry if I just have the vacuum. I feel like I really, he gets the short end of the stick here, but he's happy with it. I'm happy here. <laughs> what is my favorite season? I know it's my favorite season, and I really think it's your favorite season too, but the fall. <laughs> yeah. We love the fall. What is my favorite dessert? And from where? Cheesecake. From? <laughs> oh god, why can't I think of it? It's Gaspard. I just think of it as Gaspard's restaurant. Uh, Papa's. Yeah. Papa's Good Cheesecake. Good job. What do I never leave my house without? Yeah. Like, Lexi is the most responsible with her phone. Like, if you text her, she gets back to you pretty often, or she's actually really busy. That's why the phone, that I can't, what, what did you have? I have my keys. I mean, you always have to have, but I actually, you leave the house without the keys all the time because I'm the key department. <laughs> like we, when we take the dog out at night, every night, she leaves without the keys a lot. That's because I'm the you key take department. the keys. <laughs> That's like, it's like my duty is the keys. So that, that it's the phone is more than the keys. I actually think Hunter knows me better than I know myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have to because <laughs> <laughs> one little slip up and zoom, all the air sucks out of the universe. <laughs> what, what am I most scared of? Uh, well, I mean, you're scared of like nighttime being alone. Yeah. You don't like to be outside uh, alone. But there's like one specific thing that I don't like. That you're scared of? Yeah. Like a lot of times she's more, more less scared than me of everything. Like she's fearless. You're fearless. No, no, no. Um, what is she most scared No, no, no. I mean, there's part, they, like, she's scared of going out alone at dark, in the dark. Like, I don't know you don't like spiders, but I've seen you take down spiders, too. <laughs> We've never had any- Take me take down some yeah, spiders. I, <gasps> I've seen her capture a spider in a cup and, it, and like, let it out. Like, she gets her hand closer to that thing than I would, man. I would go shoo, boom. <laughs> but I don't like to kill things either, so, like, maybe a paper. Like, I don't know, but. She's done some cool things. What is she actually really scared of? I've never really seen her like, like scared. It's it's only like being alone at, at night is the only thing that keeps hitting me. Um, what else? There's something else that you're actually scared of. Oh my God, there was this one night, but I mean, that's not something you're actually scared of. We, get, we had rented a new house. There was this big house and it had like, it, was, it had this air conditioner that made a bunch of noise at night. And the first night we were there, and this is a huge house. We don't really know it very well. And it's like dark. You know, every on. house has its own like And so like there's noises. these like weird noises with this air conditioner. It sounds like things are on the roof or like in the house or whatever. And she woke up at like three in the morning and like, She's like, we gotta check the whole house. So I'm like, okay. So I grab my phone or whatever. She grabs like a mop and she's like going <laughs> closet to closet with the a mop. Swiffer. She's like, Hunter, you're not ready to take them down. <laughs> I told him he wasn't in an athletic you're stance. You're not in an athletic stance. I was like, I got my phone. I'll knock him out. I got you. I'll throw it <laughs> he at He was like in his underwear. I was like, you're not gonna be ready for this fight if he comes at us. I was like, I got you, I got you. It was three in the morning. I knew no one was in the house, but I was just like, she couldn't sleep. So I was like, all right, let's do this. So I mean, I mean, I guess maybe an intruder at night or something. Yeah, I guess the, like, the night, like being being the night. by I'm a, afraid of the night. She's a, afraid when it's nighttime of like intruders or being abducted or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's a fair female. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a very fair fear. That's a very fair fear. But like I said, and being um, chased. I don't like to be chased. She doesn't want to be chased. She doesn't want to be abducted or attacked. Don't chase so me. So I, I kind of hit it on the head. Or abduct me. Being alone at night. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll give that to you. All right. And then for a bonus question, what is my shoe size? Oh, dear. I don't ever buy your shoes. I want to say it's like in the six and a half, seven and a half. It's somewhere in between those two. Which six and a half? Six and a half and seven and a half. Okay. Somewhere within that range. I'm a seven and a half. But that's not really fair. I've never bought your shoes. Because if I was like, oh, you're somewhere between a 9 and a 12. I, I gave it one shoe size. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think you should get the shoe size question. I mean, I didn't even go 6 and 7. I literally went 6 and a, I knew it was a half, but I wasn't sure if it was 6 or 7. Well, you, I mean, you got se mom 7 and a half. 7 and a half to 8. Really? Okay. So, kind of. I'm pretty sure it's a 7 and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know my shoe better than me. <laughs> You actually do kind of know me better than me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. I know that I'm thankful for you and I'm thankful for romance on this Valentine's Day. Mm, thanks, thanks. I knew what movie me you too. watched. You did. <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. Whether you're spending Valentine's Day with your significant other, friends, family, 
Either way, we hope you have the best Valentine's Day and really lean into all the love and appreciation that you have in your life. It's super important that we take that time out. Even though it's a very contrived holiday, it's still good to take it as a reminder to appreciate the loved ones in your life because we are so lucky and I think last year taught us that and it's good to be with ones you love. Send someone a note, send someone a gift, send someone just a sweet text, a phone call, whatever that might be, and just let them know that you love them and that you're thinking about them. That really does go a long way. Romance is a very powerful frequency. And it doesn't have to be romance. It could be seriously to your mom, to your dad, brother, sister, friend, to just a loved one. All right, that's us. We'll get off our soapbox now. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the chat. Bye.